हेलो व्यूअर्स आई एम योर फ्रेंड वकाश सईद वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल द टॉपिक वी विल कवर टुडे इन दिस वीडियो इज द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ ऑटोमेशन दिस इज अ टॉपिक आई लव टू टॉक अबाउट आई लव टू डिस्कस इट एंड आई लव टू लर्न इट इन मोर डेप्थ दैट इज द मोट बस आर एस फोर फाइव आर टी यू कम्युनिकेशन द कॉन्टेंट ऑफ दिस वीडियो इंक्लूड द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स first of all we will see that what modbus rs485 rtu stand for and its history then we will see is there any difference between modbus protocol and rs485 communication in detail along with their feature then the next and the most important topic of the video we will see is the modbus communication parameter which further includes the rs484 Four eight five port or common parameter, which all device must have in a Modbus network, and the Modbus protocol parameter, which are essential to see the data values during the Modbus communication. So let's start our first topic from the content that is, what does Modbus RS four eight five RTU stand for? in modbus rs485 rtu modbus is the protocol it is basically a messaging structure which includes slave address function code data and some checks which we will see in detail as <clears throat> video proceed modbus protocol exist in the seven layer in the seven layer of of the osi osi model that is in the application layer coming to the rs485 rs485 is basically an electrical standard or a physical medium on which modbus protocol message moves it include the electronic circuit wires and networking scheme which we used in the communication in the osi model it exist on the first two layer that is the physical and the data link layer and the rtu is basically the mode of modbus protocol there are two modes of the modbus protocol or what we call as the two way of modbus protocol messaging structure or messaging frame first is the rtu messaging frame which include slave address function code data crc check method all of the data is in byte form similarly ascii message messaging frame has some structure as rtu <clears throat> with addition of some checks at the start and end the data in asking message messaging frame is in character or string base modbus rtu is the most common way of modbus protocol implementation because it take half a time from modbus ascii to transmit the same content these two modes are incompatible so our device configured for rtu cannot communicate with one using an ascii let's see some of the history of the modbus protocol and rs485 communication starting with the modbus protocol Modbus protocol was introduced in 1979 by the PLC manufacturing company called Modicon now it is owned by Schneider Before 1979 let's suppose we have three different PLCs in three different areas of plant uh, there was a need to centralize the data of this area of plant to fulfill this need Modicon introduced the Modbus protocol to centralize the data of different areas of plant modbus basically stand for mod modbus plus feedbus modicon plus feedbus similarly let's see some history of rs485 communication rs485 was introduced in 1983 it was approved in march 19 1998 you normally see nowadays usb was used for communicating different devices or any other fast medium was used for communicating different devices but in old days the serial communication via rs232 was used for communicating these devices 
RS232 has some limitation that it can communicate up to the distance of 50 feet. We can only have one driver, one receiver in RS232 communication. You can communicate with a data rate of 460 kilobyte per second. To overcome this issue, a four-wire RS422 communication method was introduced with one driver and 10 receiver with a speed of 10 megabyte per second. To further improve the communication method, RS485 was introduced which can communicate up to 31 receiver or slave device with a much higher communication speed up to 30 megabyte per second. Before going to the communication parameter of Modbus RS485, let me summarize all the discussion we have done up till now for the Modbus protocol and RS485 communication standard. Modbus protocol is basically a messaging structure that is used to exchange data between two devices. RS485 defines the physical electrical characteristics of the driver and receiver including wiring that allow data to be transferred. Modbus protocol can not only be tied up with RS485, it can be done on other electrical standards such as RS232, RS422, radio, satellite, microwave, TCP IP, etc. Similarly, RS485 communication standard can be used with other protocol also like Profibus, DS485, Optomux, DMX, 512DCC, etc. After understanding the basic of Modbus protocol and RS485 communication, we will now see the Modbus RS485 RTU communication parameter which is required during the serial, con serial communication between devices. Let's pause. We have following bunch of different devices as you are seeing in this picture. We have to do the Modbus communication of all of these devices in a single Modbus loop. The first thing we do is the wiring. As the Modbus RS485 is a two wire communication with a differential signal, every Modbus device has two signal points for wiring that is A and B. All the devices signal point A are connected with a single wire. Similarly, all the devices signal point B are connected with each other. That what we call all the devices are in this series. Termina termination resistance is used at the two extreme and in order to prevent the signal ref reflection from an open circuit. Once the wiring is done, the first and the most important parameter you must know about the Modbus RS485 communication is the bore rate. All the devices in the same Modbus loop must have the same bore rate. Bore rate is the rate on which data is transferred on RS485 network. A unit is bit per second. There are different types of bore rate on which data can move. This range from 1200 bit per second to 115200 bit per second, including of 2400, 3600, 4800, 9600, 19200, 38400, and 5760 bit per second. The most commonly used board rate in the Modbus communication is 9600 bit per second and 19200 bit per second. Maximum cable length for the Modbus communication depends upon its board rate. Higher the board rate, less will be its length for transmission of smooth data. For example, at 9600 bit per second, the cable length can be used up to 1200 meter.
एट हंड्रेड के बिट पर सेकेंड केवल लेंथ कैन बी यूज अप टू थाउजेंड मीटर सिमिलरली एट टेन मेगा बिट पर सेकेंड केवल लेंथ रिड्यूस टू टेन मीटर ओनली यू कैन इनक्रीज केबल लेंथ बाई एडिंग मोड बस रिपीटर इन योर मोड बस नेटवर्क द सेकेंड कॉमन पैरामीटर इन आर एस फोर्ड फाइव कम्युनिकेशन इज द नंबर ऑफ डाटा बिट हाल द डिवाइस इन द सेम आर एस फोर्ड फाइव नेटवर्क मस्ट हैव द सेम नंबर ऑफ डाटा बिट्स एज यू नो डेटा सेंड अक्रॉस आल द मोड बस नेटवर्क इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फ्रेम्स देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ नंबर ऑफ डाटा बिट्स यूज फॉर फ्रेम फार्मोशन फर्स्ट इज सेवन एंड सेकेंड इज एट वेन यू चूज सेवन यू मेक सेवन बिट डिजिटल फ्रेम वेन यू चूज एट यू मेक एट बिट डिजिटल फ्रेम This is handled internally by RS four eight five communication port. Normally, we use number of data bit as eight, and the frame you are seeing in this picture is also eight bit. The third common parameter in RS four eight five communication is stop bit. All the devices in the same RS four eight five network must have the same number of stop bit. Stop bit is used for the detection of ending of frame when a receiver receives a data he must know that when the frame is or when the data is ended there are two type of stop bits that is one or two the fourth common parameter in rs485 communication is the priority All the devices in the same RS four eight five network must have same priority. Parity is also a sort of error checking. There are three type of parity: none, odd, or even. Usually, none parity is used because the protocol used on RS four eight five has its own way of checking. error so before going toward the modbus parameter let me summarize all the rs485 parameter of all the devices which are in the same communication network we call these four parameter as a common parameter or power parameter or rs4 parameter of the devices as mentioned earlier all these parameter will remain same for all the devices for let's let's we take example all the devices must have baud rate of 9600 bit per second number of data bit as 8 stop bit as 1 parity as none usually these are the default values but this can be changed also as we have seen all the rs485 parameter required during communication now we will see the modbus parameter one by one the first modbus parameter is the unit id every device in a communication network has its own unique id in this animation you have seen that master has given id 0 slave has given id of 1 2 3 and 30 respectively as we know earlier that in modbus rs485 communication loop there is a one master and 31 slave but number of slave can be increased using modbus repeater and it can be increased up to 247 so the slave address range is, is from 1 to 247 a modbus communication is always initiated by the master the slave mode never transmit data without receiving request from master mode the slave node never communicate with each other all the communication parameter and slave id along with the wiring is used to generate a communication between two devices 
once the communication is generated then we are able to move the data from one device to another device for example as you are seeing let's suppose the real time mass flow value on flow meter is 400 meter cube per hour and we want this data on our master device after the communication is established basically 400 is the data this data exists on some memory area which was represented by the function called in modbus parameters also this data memory area has address which we call as a register this register has some data type and data formatting at the moment you need no panic about the term i used i will elaborate all of these terms one by one so starting with the term memory area of the mode bus memory area of the mode bus consists of four parts that is coil input input register and holding register at the start of video as i have told you that mode bus was introduced by the modicon back then it memory area was defined just as the memory area of plc where coil was same as we as we have discrete output in plc input has was same as we have discrete input in plc input register and holding register was same as we have analog input and analog output in the plc just like di and just like digital input and digital output coils and input have one bit of data and just like analog input and analog output input and holding register are of 16 bit of data the memory area of modbus in modbus protocol was defined by the function code number there are two category of function code one is read and one is write function code one is used to assess the read value of the coil function code two is used to assess the read value of input Function code 4 is used to assess the read value of input register and function code 3 is used to assess the read value of holding register. If we want to write a value of a single coil, we use function code 5. If we want to write a value of multiple coil together, we use function code 15. Similarly, 6 is used to write single and 16 is used to write multiple register value. As you as you have noticed that write function code is for the coil and holding register which represent digital output and analog output respectively and for input and input register we have only read only function value as it is uh, at it represent the digital input and digital output which is a similar case as we have in our plc once we understand the function code of memory function code of the memory area of modbus we will now see the range of data addresses which exist within this memory area for the memory area coils the data address ranges from 1 to 10000 for the memory area input the data address ranges from 10000 to 20000 every single address of coil and input have one bit of data Similarly, the memory area input register have the data address range from 30,001 to 40,000 and the memory area of holding register have the data address ranges from 40,001 to 50,000. Every single address of input and holding register have 16 bit of data. To clarify more about the function code and data address, we will come back to our example which we explained earlier for defining this mass value in master device the flow meter vendor has provided a chart in which you can see that for memory area definition they had provided us a function code for which show it exists in the memory of memory area of input register similarly input register given as 30,004 to 30,005 they are using 16-bit register to show floating values 
we are using two 16 bit register to show the floating value in the input register first value also show as the function code and remaining four values show the data address so the data address of mass flow is four and five in this chart we had seen the function code the data address and the data type given now we will see the data type types of data types in detail data type is actually a classification of a data which tells the interpreter how to use the data and what is the size of a data the first type of data which we use in mode bus communication is boolean which size is one byte it can be either true or false then we have a character data type which is one byte of a size then we have short integer data type in short integer two byte data can be transferred on this type of data type then we have a four byte integer data type then we have a four byte float data type it is usually used to transfer the real time values from our instrument energy meters or any other device then we have a eight eight byte double precision floating point number which is actually used for transferring the totalizer value in mode bus communication data formatting is actually the sequence of a byte of a word in the digital data there are two type of data formatting one is big ndn other is little ndn let's suppose we have a value 4000 which is in decimal usually we want values in decimal you can also see that it uh, binary and hexa conversion is also shown in big endian data formatting data is transferred as it is means there is no shift of any byte between the data but in the little endian least significant byte came first as you are seeing in the animation similarly you can see it for hex value also Intel and ADM use the little endian format, IBM or Motorola use the big endian data format. Summarizing all of my presentation, you must know all of the following parameters you are seeing in your screen of both the devices will be very necessary if you want to communicate these devices. If you, if you want to communicate between devices, you can ask the specific vendor what will be the these values as you are seeing in the screen. Thank you for watching the video and giving your precious time. My name is Vakas Said. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment. Your appreciation comment is also a motivation for me for my next video.